get close enough and you'll pick it up too. Just make sure you're fully prepared when you do. And don't forget to keep those eyes dry. Would you shut up already? So that's an ideal? It's beautiful. In a creepy kind of way. I feel like I'm getting cursed just looking at it. Well, the sooner we shatter it, the sooner we can go back. It's technically the ideal of desire. Add reason and will for a trio entire. If voiding the pact is your goal, they're the key. But it won't be so simple to shatter all three. A monarch would not let their plans go astray. They fiends of their own to keep you at bay. Monarchs, like humans, have much at stake. In the case their ideals shatter and break. What do you mean? Demons subsist off the human ego. That is the way they develop and grow. Ideals give humans the power they need, and demons the ego upon which they feed. If only I could fight, too. You're already able to. For what do you protest? Huh? Imagigears are nothing more than souls made manifest. The will to do so is all that you need. Though it isn't so easy as that, I'll concede. Terminal Recall. Searching eight consciousnesses. Analyzing, adapting, linking, decompressing Imagigear. End process. was my assistance. I'll save the explanations for a more obliging ear. I doubt you'd even grasp the weight of what I'm doing here. This is my power. The manifestation of my will. Um, thanks. But could you watch where you're staring, please? Now enough with all this senseless prattle! Amuse me with your bloodlust in battle!
Let's go, Nozomi. I'll be your strength. Open. Me too. Here I go. Enemy down. I'm with you. I 
activate. Subdue them! No mercy. We made it, Nozomi. Good job. You were amazing. Thank God my power came through there. Now you won't have to fight alone anymore. Even if that was terrifying beyond belief. Ideals, VP, are a fragile matter. The slightest touch will cause it to shatter. are foolish. They see hope on paths paved with despair. They hear it in words crafted from the same, walking the road to ruin all the while. Only misery awaits at the end. It never changes. No matter how many times I tell them or how many times they're shown, humans truly are foolish. They are witless. Pural and rash. But if my hands can cover their eyes, if my words can drown out their ears, then at the very least, no one would be hurt. I could create a world free of destruction. Don't get yourself all tied up in knots. The ideal relayed you the Pact Bearer's thoughts. Oh, I see. That's a relief. Not that those thoughts were particularly pleasant either. In any case, we should keep up the pace and shatter the other ideals. And, uh... That means heading back sooner rather than later. Please? Hope you don't mind me stopping by. Oh! Welcome back! You too, Nozomi. Thanks for looking out for my brother. I feel a lot better knowing you're there for him. Always happy to help. I'm really not all that special, though. Your brother's the amazing one here. Here I come! Huh? 
Did someone say something? <laughs> Behold, little girl! The one you should thank duly is none other than yours truly. Vanitas? See, this is what happens when you pop out of nowhere. Stop scaring Chio! Gehet? You're the one who's scaring me here! I said I would warn you before I appear! Oh my goodness! He's adorable! Wow! He's so soft and fluffy! It's like snuggling up with a cloud! No fair! You never told me Benitas was this cutey, wootsy, adorable! Hey now, you're suffocating the poor thing. A being like me has no need for breath. Lend me your aid from your sister of death. You, flagitious fiend! <laughs> the little guy sure gets riled up easily, huh? Oh, right. You should know that the mist on the second floor is all gone. Guessing that's your doing. We were able to rescue all the unsettled who were trapped up there, so thanks for that. Alrighty. Guess it's about time I got back to the infirmary. Just stop on by if you're ever feeling under the weather. Hey, Nozomi. What do you do on your days off? Study or watch movies. You could say I'm pretty laid back. Laid back? But you study on your day off. That's about as diligent as it gets. What kind of movies do you watch? Hmm, comedies mostly. I like feel-good movies. What about Monster Panic? It's a zombie comedy. I'll pass. What? Why? Okay, let's pretend we're talking about sweets. What you just recommended was like pasta with whipped cream or barbecue flavored candy. I just like normal, plain old comedies with no horror elements lousing it up. Aw, uh, okay. Well, what do you like to do on your days off, Chio? I like to go on walks and visit some cafes, taking pictures all the way. Ooh, sounds fun. Is the newspaper club what got you into photography? It's actually the opposite. I joined because I already liked it. I always enjoyed taking photos of my family. something. The student council members are acting kind of odd. Well, you're not wrong. But I mean, more than usual. <laughs> it started just before you and Nozomi came back, I think. They just kept glaring at us. That's around when they started upping their surveillance on everyone, too. I wonder what's going on. The chaos never ends, does it? Oh, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Nozomi Hinata. I'm a third year here at the Academy. Nice to properly meet you. Thank you for your help in the other world. You're the reason we were able to make it back safely. G 
<laughs> Would calling the other world strike you with fear? If not, you can do so whenever I'm near. You know that you can travel there by answering the phone, but so too are there numbers you can dial on your own. If such a number should pop up at all, why not give the other world a call? You could, of course, dial things randomly, but if it leads to your end, don't blame me. floor should be covered in mist too. Let's search there next. Prez, everything good? What kind of answer is that? Your relationship losing steam already? What? Do you think every boy and girl who hang out together are dating? I know you're old, Dr. Kakeru, but really? Get off my back. I'm still in my early 30s. Are you? Your cluttered desk looks more like a toddler's. <laughs> Aw, you flatter me. That wasn't a compliment. Ugh, if only Dr. Shiro Neko were here. Haven't you heard the saying, out of sight, out of mind? Leave things be, and you'll always know where they are. That's not even how that idiom works. People tidy things up for convenience. Incidentally, Vice President, did you know Dr. Kakeru's wristwatch has a dead battery? Yep, it's been 11.45 p.m. for the past 10 years. A phone's good enough for telling time these days. People only ever wear watches for fashion now. 
what are you so proud of? In what world is a beat-up old watch like yours fashionable? <laughs> Your slacker attitude makes some people worry about the quality of care here, you know. Well, that's rude of them. I know how to be in the right place at the right time. When I need to. If something needs doing, I'm gonna do it right. kind of pale. Let me take a look at you. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard now. You seem just fine to me. Come again if anything happens. It's troublesome not being able to leave the academy, isn't it? Nevertheless, Nozomi, I've been looking for you. favor to ask. You started hanging around the student council. She's completely changed ever since. All of a sudden, she started talking about Kurama like he's some sort of god. You, Nishioka. She's Yusuke's girlfriend. I've known them both since I was in elementary school. She wants to break up with me. She said she doesn't have it in her to deal with being in a relationship right now. But we were doing totally fine before she joined Karama's fan club. Don't you think that there's something fishy about that? What? 
You getting dumped? No! I'm talking about Kurama and his groupies! You and the others weren't so goddamn obsessed with the student council before! Since when did anyone start listening to Kurama anyway? He's such a nag, even the teachers don't want to deal with him. It's been like this ever since all this messed up shit started happening to the academy. There's gotta be a reason why. Were they drugged? Or maybe they're all hypnotized. You'll help me look into Kurama, right, Nozomi? You need our help. Same goes for everyone else. Come on, I'm begging you. <laughs> I understand why you're so suspicious of Kurama, but... Maybe we should wait and see how things turn out for now. We don't have time to just stick around and do nothing! Forget it, you coward. I was stupid for thinking you'd get off the fence for once. I mean, what else should I expect from the kind of person who leave her best friend for dead? If you're not gonna do something, I am. Somebody has to. Wait! Listen to me! <laughs> I've had a hunch about who the Pact Bearer is ever since our talk with the Dean. If it turns out that hunch is right, well, it just means we'll have to be that much more careful. I don't want us to get all wrapped up in any more danger than we're already in. Let's get a move on, Vice President. We have to shatter the remaining ideals.
careful now and hold your breaths. This place is linked to the other world's depths. The depths? The farthest reaches, the other world's end, full of beings against whom you can't contend. I'd advise against picking up any odd calls, unless you enjoy your blood strewn on the walls. You'll want to mind the unsettled as well. The madness of the depths infects your surroundings if a call connects. They'd act more unhinged than they already do. Who knows what would end up happening to you? So, in other words, if we pick up, we'll be in danger. If we don't, we'll still be in danger. <laughs> Precisely, my perspicacious president. Well, that's not fair at all. Isn't there a way around that? The depths of the other world are hardly near. They're not quite connected directly to here. Though a singularity should be on the border, connecting two sides to keep them in order. Should you destroy it without delay, the other world's influence goes away. I'll give you a number to the singularity. Deal with it first, if you're lacking temerity. Remedial lessons are such a pain. What's an underclassman like you? I can't possibly memorize.
locker combination? I think it was the last four digits of my student ID, but I don't know for sure. Who even cares about that right now? Let me out of here already! Let me out, damn it! I know someone's there! Get over here! Listen to me, damn it! This is a third Looks like last period's lesson is going into open. Period's lesson is going Don't into you overtime. know this is a third year class? I know. Open it. Hey, you! Open this thing! I'm gonna be late! Stop messing around! My grades are on the line here! Come on! I'm begging you! Let me out! Damn it! Open up! Come on! Go, Nozomi. I'll do your strength. Get ready. Resonate.
No mercy. Here I go. You look unwell. Are you okay? You seem kind of pale. You're good to go. Don't push yourself too hard.
Looks like last period's lesson is going What's into overtime. What's an underclassman Hope like that means you? Less for hey, you. Never seen your face around here. You're a third year? Doesn't ring a bell to me. Eh, whatever. Sorry for taking up your time. Looks like last period. Take note. Take note. These three principles are the basics of thermodynamics. I'm fine. I was lost in thought. Sorry. I'd better focus on the here and now, huh? I'm supposed to be helping you. Not to mention the rest of the Academy. Let's go, Nozomi. I'll be your strength. Here I go.
take this. Me too. Here I go. Me. Good job! You were amazing! The soul is an imaginary entity. The body creates it through nothing more than trivial chemical reactions. People are fools. Their eyes, ears, even their very souls are inferior. These are the flaws in the machine we call the human body. Consequently, one must acquire the controls to the machine the authority to govern their bodies for them. Only then will the foolish be guided away from hopelessness and despair. The authority to govern their bodies. No wonder. There's only one more ideal left. 
once we take out the Pact Bearers, we can return to our normal lives. That way everyone gets to be happy. You hope so, huh? That's about as much as we can do. After all, there's no way to be certain. The Academy fell into total chaos after the anomaly started. I did everything I could, but I wasn't strong enough. Things only got worse and worse. Hmm. A long time ago... There was someone I really looked up to. She was fair, strong, kind. She always did the right thing. I wanted to be like her. But... I only ended up disappointing everyone. I couldn't live up to her example. I have my fair share of weaknesses. I'm a coward, as you already know. I keep thinking it was a mistake to make me the president of the True Student Council. I'm scared I won't be able to live up to my station. That I'll only end up hurting people instead. Mm. Confidence is never easy, is it? Kurama? I've heard the rumors. The true student council, is it? You truly are playing the dean for a fool. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were implying the existing student council is a sham. We are the tried and true, Hinata. We guide the people and protect them. However, I am willing to pardon your transgressions. After all, you aren't exactly known for making the wisest decisions. Besides, everyone obeys me sooner or later. But let us set that aside for now. It appears that every time you return from the mist, another of my ideals is destroyed. I highly doubt this to be mere happenstance. I... don't know what you're talking about. Come now. Enough beating around the bush. We will speak plainly, or not at all. I am a pact bearer, he who commands the authority of pride. If you're concerned about any eavesdroppers, fret not. They are under my control. It doesn't matter if they hear. Even if they do, they won't be able to process it. I've used my authority to put them in a trance. They haven't the free will to remember a thing. That's horrible! Foolish words from a foolish girl. You think you can defeat all the Pact Bearers and restore the Academy to normal? Let me put this in no uncertain terms. It's impossible. You cannot best a Pact Bearer. Even if you were to defeat me, it would only increase the chaos and casualties alike. You will oppose me no longer. Instead... What did 
you do to him? Unlike you, I am no fool. I can already tell how pointless this discussion will be. As such, I made some improvements to his perception of the world. Did you brainwash him? <laughs> now you're getting it. You monster. Vice President, you have to snap out of it! Me? A monster? Hardly. Under my control, you dullards will finally achieve inner clarity. You should be thanking me, really. You've gone mad. Don't be ridiculous. It's the world that has gone mad. But worry not. You too shall understand eventually. For I shall remake you in my image. Now, Vice President, seize her! What? You're still lucid? Why isn't it working? What are you? That was... an authority. It can't be. You're... a pact bearer? Are you okay, Vice President? I hate to resort to such brutish means. But if I hold no authority over him, then I've no choice but to eliminate you directly. Everyone, seize them! I'll re-educate the foolishness right out of you. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Hmm. Such touching bravado. For now. Your inanity will come to light soon enough. The only fool I see is you! bad guys here. You took her from me. You wouldn't let her go! <laughs> Blasted stalker! Where did you come from? Stop! Let go, damn it! Get your hands off me! We'll meet again, Hinata. You're all fools. Every last one of you. Nevertheless, I refuse to let the lunatics run the asylum. Not anymore. I will protect everyone, no matter what. For a while. Don't you think Kurama's uniform is kind of weird? Nobody else wears anything like it. What's up with that? Oh, that. It's
It's a uniform that the student council president wears during ceremonies. He probably found it on a shelf in the student council room and took it for himself. A ceremonial uniform? Huh. I thought it was just some sort of retro throwback outfit. Have you worn it before, Nozomi? <sighs> just once. I don't really like it. It makes me stick out like a sore thumb. Mr. Bunny said there's only one ideal left. Once the Pack Bearer's ideals are shattered and things go back to normal, you two have to come hang out with me. There's a whole bunch of cafes I want to check out with you. So make sure you finish this up quick. But try not to push yourself too hard out there, okay? Hmm. Controlling people against their will. It's despicable. I'm worried about what they'll do to Yusuke. Not to mention Karama's wounds. Still, he's a pact bearer. And worst case scenario, Dr. Kakeru can take care of him. He'll be fine, I'm sure of it. If we destroy the last ideal, Karama will lose his powers. That should break his hold on the others. Mm. This whole situation has me on edge, though. Once everyone's released from his control, will the Academy descend into chaos again? What if our power as the TSC, my power as the President, isn't enough to stop it? What am I supposed to do then? What do I want to do? Uh, I... I hate this mist. And I hate that barrier. This whole thing is completely insane. I've had enough of this hopeless despair. I just want to go back to our regular lives. And most of all, I don't want this crazy upside down world to get the best of me. <laughs> but honestly, I'm still not sure. Thanks. That means a lot. But you know, I was the one who was supposed to help you, not the other way around. You'd never know I was the older of us with the way I'm acting. I still feel uneasy about this. That much is a given. But I feel like I can keep moving forward at least, as long as you're here. I want to help you bring down Karama in any way that I can. That said, if I lose my nerve again, I'm coming back to you for support, okay? 